King Eurystheus was not very happy when he saw Hercules walking into his palace wearing the lion skin. Hercules had completed his second labor by killing the Nemean lion. So this time, he decided to give Hercules a tougher task. Hercules was given the task to fight another terrible creature known as the Lernaean Hydra. The Hydra was a big snake, a very big one and it had nine heads. Task two, the Lernaean Hydra. The king knew that anyone who approached the monster's den in the swamp would be killed by the snake's poisonous breath. Also, if anyone tried to cut off any of its heads, two more would grow in its place. The Hydra was indeed a fierce opponent. Even Hercules did not think he could fight this monster on his own. He enlisted the help of his nephew, Aeolus. Hercules was very clever too. When they reached the swamp, he could sense the poisonous air inside the den. They realized the danger and did not enter the den. They lured the monster out of the swamp instead. Hercules did not waste any time and he jumped into action. Hercules fought the Hydra fiercely and each time he chopped off one of its heads, Aeolus burned it before another set of heads sprouted out. Hercules and Aeolus clubbed off the monster's nine heads, but one head refused to die. So Hercules crushed that head and buried it deep in the ground. He returned to Eurystheus with the news of his victory, but the king was not satisfied. You did not fight Hydra on your own, he said and so the labor does not count. Hercules' next task was to bring the sacred deer of Artemis, which had iron feet and golden horns. Task three, the Cyrenian Hind. The Cyrenian Hind was not a beast like the Nemean lion or the Hydra. It was a noble creature with iron feet and golden horns that could outrun an arrow. The sacred hind belonged to Artemis, goddess of wilderness. Hercules set out to hunt down and capture the golden stag of Artemis. Hercules spent almost a year wandering the forest in search of the hind. Finally, one night, while the stag was sleeping, Hercules crept up to the sleeping animal and caught it by throwing a net over the sleeping animal. Once, Artemis appeared before Hercules. Even though Artemis was a goddess, she feared the strength of the son of Zeus. She brought Apollo, her twin brother, along for moral support. Hercules apologized for his deeds. He then explained how he needed to capture the deer for completing the tasks given to him. Artemis consulted with her brother and agreed on a compromise. Hercules was allowed to take the sacred deer to Eurystheus alive, but then he must let it go. Hercules agreed. He returned to the city gates with the deer. He knew if the deer didn't return safely, Artemis would hurt him. So thinking fast, Hercules agreed to give the king the deer under one condition, that the king come outside the city gates and get the deer himself. The king agreed and arrived at the city gates. Just as the king was about to take the hind, Hercules let it go, and the deer sprinted back to Artemis. Eurystheus was furious, but Hercules told the king that he was not fast enough, and that's why the hind escaped. And that's how mighty Hercules completed his third labor.